Hello, my goddesses. Hello, my tribe. I'm Tafera Nava. And I am Sincera Dominique. And welcome, welcome to, to our, our channel. channel. Okay, so on today's episode, we are going to talk about things that you must know. At least that's our working title for this segment. So we'll see how we like it or how you guys like it. But on today's episode, we're talking about things that you must know for your vehicle. So for ladies, for us, we shouldn't depend on a man for everything. We should be equipped and we should be knowledgeable and we should be prepared as vehicle owners, be it you're renting, you're leasing, you're owning, if you're driving a vehicle period, even if it's for like Lyft or Uber, these are things that you must know if you have a vehicle and it comes to safety. So we are a sisters of six basically and our dad told us to be prepared. So he comes from a northern state, which is Denver, and he will always get on us to have certain essentials when it comes to our car and things that we must know. So if you happen to be in a bind, like your car just breaks down or you get stuck in the mud, the ice, just any situation where you're along in your car by yourself, you need to be prepared for certain situations. So what we're going to discuss is some of the things that you must know you should have in your vehicle just in case those things happen. And don't be like, well, I can call boo, I can call husband, I can call girlfriend. Right. Cause sometimes they may not be available or they in the car with you, you know what I'm saying? Or if you call tow truck, tow truck said they got about two hours before they can get to you. You know what I'm saying? And it might be winter time, it may be summertime, it may be what the hell going on time. And you just need a few things to kind of hold you over at least for a couple of hours until you can get your car up and going and back home again. So is there anything you want to add to that? Um, and I guess I would also so just say basically like just checking behind when you do allow somebody to do, to do certain things on your vehicle, vehicle for you or um in your presence just to know whether or not what they're doing is the right thing or um i mean you know just being self-sufficient to you know the best of your ability so let's get into it all right all right so i'm gonna start with the first item that you must know or you should have as an essential in your vehicle and that is a phone I know y'all like that's basic but it's a basic truth like for real for real if you don't have a gas can a funnel does help like somebody might stop for you and they may not have a funnel you know what i'm saying so this is just perfect to get the gas in the tank or if you need oil in the motor or windshield or just uh coolant whatever mm -hmm. this is just essential for anything any type of lubricant or oil or liquids that your car needs it's good to have them on hand if you're not near a gas station or anything these are essential i think i got this for walmart for like a dollar and 19 cents so yeah, it's like works. it's worth it they have them even at, the dollar, at the dollar store you know what i'm saying so i mean this is just essential this is just for you boo you need to have this for yourself it doesn't hurt it's an investment if you got that beamer if you got that whatever you got it don't matter toyota whatever you love take care of it be prepared if a situation happens and to have a simple multi-purpose funnel is an essential thing that you must know for your vehicle so the item that i always have is a flashlight if you guys can see this and these are the batteries now the thing about this item is you can't keep the batteries um in the car with the heat because they will leak mm -hmm. and you won't be able to use them so the batteries is like a it's kind of like one of those things that you either keep an eye on them to make sure that they're doing good and in the event you see any corroding or leaking then replace them mm -hmm. um so you just got to kind of be mindful of that because they really need to be more in a cool room temperature like um space mm -hmm. but this uh flashlight i got from walmart and it's a led flashlight and the uh let me see if i'm 
saying this correct the depth of the light in terms of how far it can shine mm -hmm. is so far i want to say it's like 15 20 feet wow. it's really far mm -hmm. like unfortunately our power goes out a lot in our neighborhood <laughs> So sometimes when we have to maneuver outside at night or let's say I come home and the power is out and it's nighttime, if the power is out, the street lights are out, everything is pitch black dark. Mm -hmm. This flashlight lights up. It doesn't play. It ain't playing. <laughs> okay, I'm going to see. So I really, really love this flashlight. It's lightweight. Um, and like I said, it has a sight depth of like 20 feet it goes really really far and it's really illuminated it's led so it's like a um what is it like a white light it's not mm -hmm. like a, a yellow warm, warm light. light it's a cool light mm -hmm. so i love it once again i got it from walmart sure. for like 17 or 15 to 17 dollars sorry for all the noise i'm gonna take it out of plastic um so it's called a you can see it. It's called a Hyper Tough 500 Lumin Luminous, mm -hmm. I think it is. Mm -hmm. um, so this is what it looks like. There's the actual light part. Um, it has like a clasp and you undo that. This is where the battery goes. It takes three um, C batteries. And like I said, I just keep the batteries in this Ziploc bag, um, but I keep an eye on them to make sure that they aren't leaking or corroding. Usually they don't corrode outside of the, um, the device or the electronic. It usually corrodes when you keep it inside. So I always keep my batteries out. Mm -hmm. And um, like I said, just keep an eye on them to make sure that the uh, the fluid on the inside isn't leaking out because then that's a wrap on that. Mm -hmm. But I try to keep either lithium batteries or um, what's the other batteries? You can do like rechargeable batteries, mm -hmm. but I try to keep at least lithium batteries, something that's long lasting. So that's my go-to item in my vehicle and in my house. Okay, so my next item, y'all may think I'm just saying this because of what's going on right now with the quarantine and the COVID-19, but that's not the case. This is something that has been in my car literally for probably about 10 years because I haven't used it that much. But that is some good old sanitizer. And the reason why I say sanitizer is for a few things. Number one, if you yourself as the female have to go up under your car and all of that and tinker with some stuff, you can get real dirty. I hate the motor oil, the grime that could, I don't mind, I'm like one of them girls that don't mind getting dirty, but I can't stand the motor oil, the grime that comes up under your hood. So one of the easy ways that I know I'm killing germs that's up under the hood and all of that, as well as removing it, is through this sanitizer. And this is a moisturizing with vitamin E. Germ X original hand sanitizer kills 99.99 .99 of germs. This is a 40 fluid ounce. It's very liquidy and it's like that, especially in the summertime. So it's been in my truck in the back getting really liquefied. But I love it because I also keep paper towels and napkins and stuff in my truck but this is great to just clean get all of my nails make sure i'm removing all the germs that i might have come into contact with under the hood because other people touch your hood you know when they're working on it doing oil changes and just it being out in the elements you want to make sure you're able to clean your hands and just when you're out getting food to go or whatever this is just good. Sanitizer is just good to keep in your vehicle, and this is an essential. So keep some sanitizer in your vehicle, hopefully a big fluid, and let this be more for like emergency situations and like the smaller size that you have in your purse. Keep that for like, you know, your food and regular, but sanitizer is good. And God forbid, if you do happen to get like a wound or anything, it will hurt, but you can kind of cleanse the area on your body. If, if something happened, this is kind of just a good send my thing if you don't have anything else so sanitizer should be an essential for your vehicle for emergency situations so my next item uh a must have to have in my vehicle is water bottle or bottles of water for the purpose of this video i'm just showing this size but ideally you want to have at least let me see this is 
23.7 fluid ounces. You want to have at least a liter to a gallon size um, container of water. Um, that is just, it serves multiple purposes. Right. Um, if your car is running hot and you don't have any antifreeze, mm -hmm. you shouldn't, but you can use water. Mm -hmm. um, if for any reason your vehicle is disabled on the side of the road or anything like that, it may be a day Well, it's really, really, you know, warm outside or really, you know, cool, whatever. You just never know how long you may be in that position. It's good to just have some water for whatever reason, for the sake of hydration. Um, you may need to use the lavatory. Okay? Okay. And you may need to... You know, pop and squat. Then <laughs> you want to walk down. Wrench there. yourself a little bit. <laughs> uh huh. So, if you have more than this, mm -hmm. you will be all right. Mm -hmm. um, one time, I can remember when my daughter was still a baby and she was still in the infant carrier. I um, I think I ran out of water while I was out and about in order to mix her formula when I had stopped breastfeeding. Mm -hmm. And so it was good that I had a bottle of water in the car. I mean, I had to do what I had to do. Mm -hmm. Usually, um, my mom has kind of taught us years ago before it became a more recent health awareness to not leave bottled water in your car. Maybe water that's in some type of canister right. or something that's not plastic because of the chemicals in plastic is mm -hmm. released into the water mm -hmm. when it reaches a certain temperature in your vehicle. But they're now making um, plastic bottles that's that are PVA free. free. Mm -hmm. So you don't really have to be concerned with that. Um, so for the sake of consuming the water, you can transfer the water out of the bottle mm -hmm. into a PBA free bottle if the bottle it came in isn't already PBA free. So that's just a little health tidbit. But um, yes, having the bottled water in your car is just essential. Once again, you just never know what circumstances may arise and how long you may be in that situation and what you won't be able to access. And so it's just good to have some water in your, um, in your vehicle. You want to add something to that? that no. I may have missed. No, I, I think, think that's of. it. I mean, even okay. if, like she said, if you're sweating, I mean, I don't know about you, but I may not have my air condition running, right. wasting my gas, and you just need to pat, pat sweat, or it could just be numerous things that water is good for. Like she said, if you have a baby, you need to mix formula, mm -hmm. or, you know, it could just be a numerous things that you might need it. You might need it to wipe your window, windshields off, or your anything. windows, anything. It's just, it's good to have yep. water. You just, it's an essential, it's a survival essential, no matter where you are. Exactly. Yep. All right, so my next item is for something that kind of will be all-inclusive, if you want to call it, and that is just a survival car kit, basically. And they come in various conditions, various sizes, pieces, meaning it can be a 10-piece, 20-piece, 30-piece, 5-piece. It's, like right. <laughs> it's just Right. It's just different things. And so if you don't want to, like, make your own kit, mm -hmm. you can go online to, like, Amazon. You can go to Walmart. I'm pretty sure they have, like, versions of it probably in, like, uh, drug stores and things like that. But you definitely can go to like auto parts stores and find something like this. Our mother gave us each one of these probably 20 years ago. Yeah. And um, I still have some of them today. But um, as she's mentioned before, like with batteries and certain things, they do corrode because of heat. So if you're leaving it out in the summertime and stuff like that, you do need to assess your kit like every couple of months just to make sure everything is in good condition especially with the elements outside you leaving it in the car and definitely something like batteries um meltable um melting things things that melt like wax and certain things you need to assess to make sure they're not you know going bad in your kit but your kit typically has a flashlight she already mentions that they have gloves so you know i talked about getting your hands grimy they typically have gloves in there they'll have something like a vest so if you have to get out at night, this is one of those reflective vests. It's just to make sure if you're on the side of the road on a freeway or like one of those one-ray roads or something like that and you wearing black, you ain't wearing white because you ain't thinking like that, this is just a reflective vest for you to help protect you. Um, they also have, which I think is really, really cool and essential, is 
a thermal blanket. <clears throat> And basically, this is for like an emergency blanket. This is for like in the winter time. Um, she's gonna show you another option, but these are those things that you might find for ambulances. I don't wanna be too reflective. Um, that they put on someone to keep them warm if they're dealing with hypothermia, especially like if you live in New York, Denver, those places where you can have blizzards and we see those cars that slide and get stuck and you have to wait a long time for them to get to you. These help you keep you warm. So they have something like that. They also have like side reflectors to put on the road as barriers um, for you. And then you have, let me show you guys this. If it's raining and you don't have an umbrella, sometimes it rains and we're not expecting it. So it has even a poncho in here as well. And I want to show you guys one more thing that it comes with. <clears throat> and that is matches. Sometimes you're in a situation where you have to like maybe start a mini fire or something like that just to get people to signal you. You might be out camping in your car and it may not start up. Not to start a fire to burn down the forest now. But it just, you know, if you have, like, if you're making a bonfire and you're out of everything, it has this for you as matches and things like that as for you. And this kit came with jumper cables. So jumper cables is something that you definitely would need in your car. You never know. You may leave a light on in your vehicle. You may not close your door all the way so the lights are on. Mm -hmm. This kit also comes with jumper cables. So this is just good ladies and guys, but definitely ladies for you to have in your, um, your car, your vehicle as backup just to take care of you just to help you get through the hours or the minutes that you're waiting as essentials when you're unprepared so look for a survival auto kit they do have them again Walmart auto shops drug stores or you can go on Amazon and places like that and order that so auto survival kit so my next item uh, is a all-purpose uh, first aid kit so I bought this one from Walmart um I think I think it may have been ten dollars or something like that but um it comes with different size band-aids um it comes with alcohol pads it comes with okay uh gauze a few different size gauze um it comes with a instant cold pack um, this is really cool because you don't have to like put this in the freezer or have this somewhere that's a more conventional type of way of making it cold. Mm -hmm. You literally just shake it mm -hmm. and then squeeze it, Crush it up. Mm -hmm. and then shake it again and, and then it kind of activate it and it starts to become cold. Mm -hmm. It is a one time use though. So once you use it, that's it. Mm -hmm. But you can buy these individually or like as a pack to replace it, to put it back in your kit once you've used it. Um, it comes with hand cleansing wipes. So basically like sanitizing wipes. Um, this is the box of different size uh, Band-Aids. It has four different, no, three different sizes. There's a there's three different sizes and they all have um a first aid antiseptic in the pad so it kills mm -hmm. bacteria and um it has it's extra absorbent oh one thing i like about these band-aids is that they're the fabric uh breathable flexible band-aids mm -hmm. those plastic boys um, but they don't stick. The way my oil is set up in my skin, those band-aids will be off just as fast as I put it on. So these will be on there, like the ones at the hospital that take a couple of hairs out. That's how these are. Get a little, free wax. Love, get a little wax. <laughs> love these. Um, it comes with some first aid tape, just in case you need to use the gauze to tape a wound down. I don't know what you're doing as to how and why you may need this type of stuff, but it's here. Um, you may have went on a bike ride with a friend and come back to the car because you don't fell off and you got to, you got to assess your wounds. They, they're here. It comes with a little ointment cream in here. Um, it even has some care, wound care, infection and prevention uh, 
tips and information to help you out just in case you may not know what to do or what to use and then it also comes with gloves once again one time use but <laughs> you can buy a box of gloves take a pair or two out and keep it in this kit so um like i said i keep this kit in my car um number one because i have a kid and number two, you just never know what could happen. You may have a passenger or a friend in the car with you and something happens while you're out and about. People trip and fall all the time. Um, so this is very good to use. It comes in a very durable plastic on the go type of um, container, light, super lightweight. I mean, this is very light, so it's not anything major. It has a little handle on it. They do have a smaller size. Um, this is just, a big size it also came i'm sorry with a pair of tweezers uh butterfly closures and um uh, yep that's it didn't mention that didn't see it in there but um they do have smaller sizes um they have some that just comes with just a few different band-aids and maybe cleansing pads or alcohol pads only that you can get from Walmart or from a drugstore. So this is very much so a necessity to just keep in your trunk. Um, if you use the smaller ones, you can keep it in your glove box or your armrest compartment if you have something like that in your vehicle. Um, like I said, for yourself, for your kids, or it just so happen you have any guests in the car with you that you know, injures themselves. Yep. And last but certainly not least for my list, but essential is a good old blanket mm -hmm. um, or Thoreau. Mm -hmm. This is more of a Thoreau, mm -hmm. a blanket maybe for a shorter person or a child. Mm -hmm. But um, of course you can get these anywhere. You can get these at Walmart, Target, Marshalls, um, you can order on a, order them online, but keeping a blanket in the car is something that we were taught probably when we were children by seeing our parents with a blanket and like a little throw pillow mm -hmm. in the car. Mm -hmm. um, Serves so many different purposes. If you have small children, they fall asleep in the car all the time. It's a good way to help prop their neck because you know they get the slumping hanging over in a way that looks very uncomfortable um they can lay all the way down if it's really chilly or whatever the case may be you can cover them with the blanket once again if your vehicle becomes disabled and you're on the side of the road or you run out of gas and you're on the side of who knows where and you're not able to have your heat on in your car some of us don't have heat in our car. Mm -hmm. You got your blanket, mm -hmm. you know. So it just serves many purposes just to make sure that it's an added um, necessary uh, protection mm -hmm. to shield you from certain weather or certain temperatures in the event that you weren't prepared. Um, sometimes you come out the house and the temp was one way and by the time you get ready to head back home and get in your car it's another you know temperature and you didn't prepare for that so at least you can bundle up with your blanket while you're driving on the way home um out with your kids and it starts to rain or whatever you may need to use it as a towel you know to dry them off or to warm them up because they got wet so having a blanket is just one of those things that we just keep in our vehicles because like i said growing up our mom even our dad had a blanket um in the car our dad is really like western um so he would have more like a um what is it called they're like aztec southwestern yeah, like mexican aztec blanket tapestry type mm -hmm. of um blanket so mm -hmm. it would be more aesthetic wise mm -hmm versus functional or purpose um for the, to serve a purpose mm -hmm. but nonetheless there were times where we needed that blanket because <laughs> it was a little chilly to us mm -hmm. and they may not have been warm or cold or mm -hmm. what have you so it benefits somebody in some type of way mm -hmm. so definitely keep a blanket in your car like i said this one is not super thick um but it's thick enough to 
give you some warmth if needed. Mm -hmm. um, and it's like the size of a throw that you may have just decoratively laying over a chair or a sofa at home. So something equivalent to that size. If you do want it to truly serve a purpose for warmth, you can get the uh, fleece mm -hmm. style blankets mm -hmm. or even the, um, what's the other one? Microfiber. The microfiber ones. Mm -hmm. Those really serve a purpose for warmth. Mm -hmm. But this one is just a knit um, blanket. So it can do both. It's breathable. So where it's cool, sorry. Mm -hmm. And then it's also um, thick enough to where it is warming as well. Mm -hmm. So that's my last essential item. And the next item that I'm going to talk about, I don't have it in my hand. It's really, really big. Maybe we'll do like an insert of it or something. Mm -hmm. And that is a little tote case or like a little actual, maybe like a middle mini duffel bag or something. And that you're going to put all of the little stuff that we're talking about inside either the little tote or your like little duffel bag, if you will. I would suggest you getting something that is kind of like washable or wipeable, not necessarily cloth unless it's like a wipeable cloth type of material. And that way you don't have all of these like random things like the like the funnel, mm -hmm. like the sanitizer, just kind of like rolling around in your trunk, making noise. It's all consolidated in like a bag or a little tote. So I have like a flat tote. <clears throat> That's probably like not even two feet long maybe. and probably a, maybe an inch and a, I mean, not an inch and a half. Maybe, maybe like eight inches, six inches high yeah. or something like that. And I just consolidate all of this stuff into that container and it's all safe. It's even an extra protection barrier if anything were to leak out. Mm -hmm. Um, if you have any like extra coolant fluid, if it's not too big, it can fit into that container or that bag that you have. So yeah, if you want to know like, I don't want this random stuff just everywhere. I don't want a first aid kit and all of this other stuff. What can I do with it? I suggest you consolidating everything into a little mini toe, one of those little narrow kind of mini long ones or a duffel bag. Again, something that's wipeable on the inside or outside to keep everything safe and contained. So if you have any spills or any Anything like that and then if something happens you can just grab it all at once do what you got to do you don't have to go look searching for it. where did I put this where is this mm -hmm. everything is all together so that is my last item that I suggest as a must know essential for your car <laughs>